Hey, it was Devo. What's going on, everybody? We're back for a short one because we're gonna go over the dev notes. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just get into it, man. So, first and foremost, well, smack the like button. I'm sorry, I I, I gotta be all in your face about it, but bro, please. Uh, <laughs> number one about 2023 update plan. As I told you through 20, uh, oh, oh, hold on, let me let me wake up. As I told you through the New Year's greeting in 2023, update goal and directions are set for various fun and new stories. Yes, therapy. Yes, various fun. While we have uh, reviewed the play elements that that have become somewhat standardized due to the service continuing for a long time and are preparing to show off the materials that can be played with new goals, the development of story. That you have been waiting for it and so on i believe that is going to be the core development direction for the first half of this year so story 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 for the first for this reason we're planning to add new growth elements uh so that it can be a goal to grow characters and we are planning new forms of battle content that can utilize grown characters and new linked main content hmm? i guess that's why they added that box cc stuff so people can like you know have something to push forward to push push towards to you know along with newly prepared new content we plan to regularly update the new season of existing super boss battles monster battles underground labyrinths and explain play elements so that you can play more diverse content as i mentioned a little in the new year's greetings the orthodox sequel of seven daily sins for nights of apocalypse which inherits the the worldview of the seven deadly sins will integrate across. Yes, 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 yes. Many people hope that the story of Meliodas and, and what <laughs> would continue forever. Uh, so even after the final chapter update of the story scheduled for the end of this year, end of this year. Okay, they're going to tell us it's basically in this year uh characters will continue to grow through the seven daily sins four nights of apocalypse story i will do my best to prepare for this year so that i can present a new story in addition along with the full scale development of ongoing original elements of ragnarok story we're preparing the new content ragnarok uh to be played more easily in characters of seven calamities to uh, that have not been revealed so far Camilla, please, Jesus Christ. The story will also be updated as a uh, chapter format. We're, ooh, okay. We are planning to introduce new characters from the Catastrophe characters who will face a new phase and the forces that oppose them. Mm -hmm. We can't tell you the specific targets or timing of the long-awaited collaboration events. Collabs coming. Uh, we, we're aiming to we're aiming to unveil it in the first half of this year. Collab coming pretty soon, maybe after the global anniversary. Who knows? The specific schedule and the content will be announced at the time of the update. So please look forward to what kind of characters will visit Britannia this year. Uh, we will talk about the improvements of the new systems in uh, near future. About the underground labyrinth. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> the Underground Labyrinth is a content where you select randomly given characters and clear the stage. Yes, we know, we know. We received a lot of feedback from players as content in a new uh, format, but the play pattern was different from what we had intended, uh, such as differences in difficulty due to randomness. And as a result, fixed character selection and routes were often used. We also seen what we also seen also, there was an opinion that is a disappointing that the structure was not suitable for continuous enjoyment because there was no motivation to play the content again after the final clear yes you know at least add something like to where you at least got to do it twice you know i don't i don't know like make me make me pull it not make me play it but like make me want to play it you know uh internally we're what we're emphasize emphasizing or empathizing Empathizing with players' feedback. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't read, bro. It's early. <laughs> We're empathizing with players' feedback and the disappointing parts of the current underground labyrinth, and are currently working on improving the underground labyrinth. Yes, 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 yes. Based on players' opinions and improvements discussed within the develop the the dev team, we would like to introduce a reorganized form of underground labyrinth in season three of the of the underground labyrinth which is scheduled to update in february oh huzzah first of all what first of all we will improve the ex this bro google translate is so weird doesn't this sound like a, a dickhead like first like response like first of all nigga like you know it's, i don't know it's kind of weird first of all we will improve the existing configuration 
where character growth and passives are all reset if you are defeated while exploring the labyrinth. Oh, okay. Oh, we would like to adjust the difficulty of continuous challenges by introducing a growth element that inherits some of the character's abilities, value, passives when trying to uh, when trying again after each successful capture. Let me read that again because that sounded ridiculous. We would like to adjust the difficulty of continuous challenges by introducing a growth element that inherits some of the character's ability, ability values and passives when trying again after each successful capture. Okay, so you can get to the, that last map. You get noticeably stronger, I guess. Sure. First of all, we will improve the existing configuration where character growth and passives are all reset if you are defeated while exploring the labyrinth. Did I just read that? I just read that. <laughs> In addition, we plan to save challenge parties after clearing the depths and improve it so you can so you can play it repeatedly. We plan to make <clears throat> items available for purchase. What? Purchase? No. <laughs> no. Don't. Don't. No. In addition, well, what do you mean, like exchange shop? Maybe like if you if you play Labyrinth, you get something like a key or something, and then you go to exchange shop and you get like three pendants or something like that. Sure, not 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 purchase like real world money. Hell no. Nah. In addition, there are various improvements that allow you to capture the underground Labyrinth while using Labyrinth good good goods more effectively, such as reroll function that allow you to reselect passives and support multiple purchases in the game. Oh yeah, oh you mean like the little sh okay okay I'm about to after them in like actual like money ain't like, no way uh multiple purchases at the in-game shop uh, we will also reflect the points together number three i high key hate every time they bring up night missions and all that stuff i'm good <laughs> like, let me let me let me just skim over it all right as a base system of night members to cooperate in development of the nights and at night's content to enjoy together. We will first update the dedicated mission called Knight's Command. Order in a mission that is given randomly to each Knight Order member and is a cooperative mission to which activity points are distributed to all Knight Orders Order members when an individual Knight Order member completes the mission. Acquire activity points can be used to purchase item, item random boxes and exclusive items that will be used used to use the night's exclusive content that will be added later. Oh my God, what is that? Additional systems and content related to night's order activities will be released sequent uh, sequentially after night's order update. When will this be? And we will inform you throughout the developer's notes as soon as the update schedule is decided. So new, new night's order coming, you know. Four Nights of Apocalypse, uh, Labyrinths, been being fixed and a new night order shenanigans or something like that so basically you can get more stuff out of your guild i'm guessing number four the last one oh so much reading oh i'm a i'm a dragon ball fan bro i hate reading <laughs> regarding the operation schedule of the champion match what currently in grand cross champion decision match is held irregularly due to the system of the championship match we thought it would be exhausting to play many matches for a long period of time so we are moving forward with a non-regular schedule but we have received opinions that we would like to hold the championship match more frequently uh there was also a player what <laughs> this cool play is so weird i don't know this sentence structure is so weird <laughs> considering the degree of exhaustion of the championship match we are also considering ways to shorten the period and run the championship match in a faster cycle than the current one. Regarding the changes to the operation schedule of the championship match, we would like to make a decision after collecting enough opinions from all players. And the de this developer notes, we told you about the new content and improvements. Uh, we will continue to do our best and continue to strive to satisfy our players, which is, I don't know, bro. Y'all said a whole lot of nothing today. Uh, let's sum it up. Four Nights of Apocalypse, <laughs> Underground Labyrinth, uh, you won't just do it once and be done with it. I guess you can do it like a like maybe two or three times and, you, you know, you can get something out of it. And then number three, uh, Night Missions. And then number four, <laughs> I, I guess, what, uh, top top 100 PvP or something? This might not be top 100. This might just be like whoever wins like top 100 or something like that I, I guess i don't this is weird this this specifically i don't know what they talking about championship match like what, what do you mean like you know 
some somebody explains to me. I, I really just got like three out of the four things they talked about today because this last one's kind of like all over the place. Championship, like what? When were they talking about a champ? Like I'm the champ, nigga. Like what? <laughs> you the champ? Like any? When the last time y'all heard about a champ in Grand Cross? I don't know. That that, that might just be me, but that's it. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all enjoyed the video, let me know if y'all excited for Fortnite's Apocalypse. Uh, yeah. I'll see you niggas later.